this is where Tyler Huntley has to improve. In order for Utah to get to where they want to get to, he has to be able to pull up and see this. It is fourth and three, and there's three minutes and 20 seconds left in the first quarter. Utah is up three. BYU is going to rush three here, and Utah is going to do a good job. Locked up on the outside, double teams on the inside. Nice pocket. Utah's running a crossing route at the sticks. And they got to do better than this at the crossing route. Keenan Peely bumped the tight end just a touch, put him on a path, and you get these two colliding in your crossing route, which slows a lot of things up. But still, look at this pocket. There's a beautiful area to sit and wait right there. If, if you just stop and wait right here and pick your head up, lift your head up, you're going to see that that crossing route springs wide open. You know, wide open for the first down. But instead, Huntley has already made his mind up that I'm going to tuck this ball and run. On a three-man rush, on a fourth down, I'm going to tuck this ball and run. And BYU just does a really good job of conversion, converging on the runner. You'll see Dian Guanaloco come up. He's got speed, inside-out pursuit. And a big hit on Huntley. He's got to get better at that. He has to pick his head up. He's got to see those crossing routes. And I love this energy right here. This, this energy by BYU was way different than the energy we saw in the second half. And, I, and I, I don't understand what happened. But they just lost this excitement and effort and belief that they had in the first quarter of this game. You know, they come up and this is a pop that he puts on Huntley. That's a that's a hit. That's a that's a big hit. Great job by that BYU defense.